This is the Music History Today podcast for August 5th. On today's show, a music television institution starts its run, Def Leppard signs, the runaways form, and Clapton gets racial. First up, though, on this date in 1952, the five royals recorded under two different names on the same day. They recorded the song You Know, I Know as the Five Royals, then recorded two gospel songs under the group named the Royal Sons Quartet. In 1953, the movie From Here to Eternity, co-starring Frank Sinatra, premiered. The movie won seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Supporting Actor for Frank Sinatra. In 1957, the Philadelphia television show hosted by Dick Clark, American Bandstand, began its national television broadcast run. In 1959, the Isley Brothers recorded the song Shout. One year later, in 1960, the Isley Brothers, D. Clark, and Buster Brown were among the performers at the Regal Theater in Chicago, Illinois. In 1962, the body of singer and actress Marilyn Monroe was discovered by her housekeeper. She had passed away from an accidental overdose the night before on August 4th. In 1964, the Beach Boys recorded the song, When I Grow Up to Be a Man. In 1965, 17 crew members on Jan and Dean's movie, Easy Come, Easy Go, were injured in a railroad accident during production. In 1972, CBS Records head Clive Davis signed Aerosmith to a recording contract after seeing them perform in a club. In 1972, same day, the London Rock and Roll Revival Festival took place with Little Richard, Bill Haley, and Bo Diddley performing. In 1975, the all-female band The Runaways with Lita Ford and Joan Jett was formed. Also in 1975, Stevie Wonder signed the largest recording contract at that time, a $13 million seven-year contract with Motown Records. In 1976, Eric Clapton voiced his support for controversial British politician Enoch Powell, saying that England was, quote, overcrowded, end quote, and that Powell would stop England from being, quote, a black colony, end quote. Clapton then said that England should, quote, get the foreigners out, get the wogs out. By the way, wog is a racial term for black, Middle Eastern, and Southeast Asian people, in case you ever hear it. And get the coons out, end quote. He then started chanting, keep Britain white, which is the slogan of the British racist political party, the National Front. He later tried to clarify his remarks, saying that he was drunk at the time, because that's everybody's go-to excuse these days for when they say something racist. Guy also plays blues music, which was black music at one point. I'm confused as to how he manages to work that in his brain. Anyway, let's move on. In 1976, the TV special on the Beach Boys called It's Okay premiered. In 1977, the second Mont de Marsan punk festival took place. In 1979, Def Leppard signed a record deal with Polygram Records. In 1980, the Osmond Brothers broke up. In 1985, the idea for creating the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was announced. In 1994, Billy Idol ended up in the hospital after a drug overdose. In 2007, the group Girls' Generation was formed. In 2009, Steven Tyler of Aerosmith fell off a stage and injured himself during a concert at the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally in South Dakota. In 2021, the Rolling Stones announced that drummer Charlie Watts wouldn't play on the upcoming tour due to health issues. Charlie then passed away a few weeks later on August 24th. Also in 2021, Tony Bennett performed for the final time in honor of his 95th birthday with Lady Gaga at Radio City Music Hall in New York City. He would soon retire from performing due to his ongoing Alzheimer's disease issues and not being able to travel too much. He passed away on July 21st, 2023. In 2022, Bad Bunny started his first stadium tour. And in 2023, country music cemented its pop chart comeback when the top three songs on the Billboard Singles Chart were all from country music artists. 
Luke Combs' version of Tracy Chapman's Fast Cars was at number three. Morgan Whalen's Last Night was at number two. And Jason Aldean's anti-protest song, Try That in a Small Town, was at number one. In award ceremonies that were held on August 5th in 1981, Olivia Newton-John received her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Albums that were released in the UK on August 5th include in 1966 when the Beatles released Revolver. Meanwhile in America, in 1967, Pink Floyd released The Piper at the Gates of Dawn. In 1969, The Stooges released their self-titled album. In 1980, Pat Benatar released Crimes of Passion. In 1983, Elvis Costello and the Attractions released Punch the Clock. In 1985, The Pogues released Rum, Sodomy, and The Lash. In 1991, Young MC released Brainstorm. In 1997, Him released Interpretive Belief System. Also on that same day, 311 released Transistor. In 2003, Jeff Beck released Jeff, and in 2013, Bob Dylan released Constructing the Legend. Singles that were released in the UK on August 5th include in 1966 when the Beatles did a twofer. They released Yellow Submarine and Eleanor Rigby. Also on that same day, the Small Faces released All or Nothing. In 1980, Elton John released Sartorial Eloquence, Don't You Want to Play This Game No More. And in 1986, The Pretenders released Don't Get Me Wrong. Meanwhile, in America, in 1963, Garnett Mims and the Enchanters released Crybaby. In 1991, R.E.M. released Near Wild Heaven. In 1992, Madonna released Rain. And in 1997, Aerosmith released Hole in My Soul. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 5th include Adam Youch of the Beastie Boys, Pete Burns of Dead or Alive, Pat Smear of the Foo Fighters, singer Youngblood, singer Samantha Sang, rock and roller Rick Derringer, Greg Lesku of the Guess Who, rapper Jayla Marie, Wang Yibu of Unique, producer Joba, country music singer Sammy Smith, Rick Huxley of the Dave Clark Five, Erto Morera of Weather Report, singer and actress Demita Joe Dublanc, singer and pianist Jerry Southern, Calvin Hayes, and Mike Nokita of Johnny Hates Jazz, Dawn Richard of Danity Kane, country music singer Terry Clark, bassist Willie Weeks, Angry Anderson of Rose Tattoo, Eddie Ojeda of A Twisted Sister, Jeff Coffin of Bella Fleck and the Fleck Tones, Evil Jared Hasselhoff of The Bloodhound Gang, multi-instrumentalist Stuart Neal, a.k.a. Leighton Buzzard, singer Stuart Crawford of Kajagugu, music video director Hype Williams, singer Megan Joy, saxophonist Jamil Moondock, violinist Otto Langton, and composer Ambrose Thomas. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 5th include composer Juan Garcia de Zespedes, who passed away in 1678 at the age of 59. The composer, nicknamed the English Mozart, Thomas Lindley the Younger, passed away in 1778 at the age of 22. Composer Robert Pearsall passed away in 1856 at the age of 61. Composer Adolf Hess passed away in 1863 at the age of 53. Composer Henry Litolf passed away in 1891 at the age of 73. The singer-songwriter of the song Jingle Bells, Mr. James Pierpont, passed away in 1893 at the age of 71. Composer George Butterworth passed away in 1916 at the age of 31. Composer Nikolai Kazanli passed away in 1916 at the age of 46. Entertainer Carmen Miranda passed away from heart issues in 1955 at the age of 46. 
Pianist Conrad V. Boss passed away in 1955 at the age of 79. Pianist and composer Joseph Holbrook passed away in 1958 at the age of 80. Johnny Cash's guitarist Luther Perkins passed away from injuries from a house fire in 1968 at the age of 40. Jazz saxophonist Toby Hardwick of the group The Washingtonians and also the Duke Ellington Orchestra passed away in 1970 at the age of 66. Composer Josef Stanislav passed away in 1971 at the age of 74. Singer Betty Clooney of the Jack Parr Show passed away in 1976 at the age of 45. Singer Himzo Polovina passed away in 1986 at the age of 59. Drummer Jeff Picaro of the group Toto passed away from heart issues in 1992 at the age of 38. Randy Hobbs of the Johnny Winter Band passed away from heart issues in 1993 at the age of 45. Composer Eugen Suchon passed away in 1993 at the age of 84. Jazz pianist Duke Burrell passed away in 1993 at the age of 73. Album cover photographer for The Grateful Dead and Frank Sinatra, among many others. Ed Thrasher passed away from cancer in 2006 at the age of 74. Country music singer Reg Lindsay passed away in 2008 at the age of 79. Singer-songwriter Robert Hazard passed away after surgery in 2008 at the age of 59. Jazz pianist and composer George Duke passed away from leukemia in 2013 at the age of 67. Entertainer Charlotte Ray passed away in 2018 at the age of 92. Singer Judith Durham of the group The Seekers passed away in 2022 at the age of 79. And singer and actor Rusty Richards of the group The Sons of the Pioneers from 1963 to 1984 passed away in 2023 at the age of 89. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 6th when in 2015, Hamilton takes its shot. <laughs> 